My mother's lesbian Jewish weekend wedding was nice. Not your typical wedding, it was out in a field, nobody threw rice. Did I mention it happened in Canada? Yes, things happen in Canada. But the fact of the matter is Canada's just like here. Cause we all watch TV shows from America, we all know what Obama is up to though. You probably have no idea who our president is. Trick question, we don't have a president. But you know, we're practically exactly the same except for one small exception. We recently legalized marriage for everyone gay. Quick story, in 2005, Canada legalized same-sex marriage six years before New York. We have free universal health care, a somewhat stable economy, and medical marijuana. Now, I'm not saying we're better than America, just that we're better at gay marriage, health care, stable economies, and money. Yeah, it's a, it's a true story about my mom and me, and, uh, and stories about our family. My mom, when I was 13, she came out to me. She'd, uh, she'd just been through a messy divorce with my dad, and, uh, and she moved out to Ottawa, where she met a Wiccan woman named Jane, and uh, she'd fallen in love. So, uh, so the story tells uh, her discovering that she's a lesbian, rediscovering her Jewish faith, and coming out to her mother, her ex-husband, and me, her teenage son. Yeah. Dad's got a girlfriend. I don't see why you can't. All of the stories in the show are based on true stories of, about our family. Like when David's moms first met me, uh, David took us to a restaurant that had just opened up. It was um, interesting. There was this new place opening up near school. Part of a chain, maybe, but I wasn't really sure. It was the first one in Canada. It seemed like an okay family type place. It had this nice friendly owl on the logo. <laughs> between the two of us at um, at our wedding. Even though it's a personal story about my family, it's also set against the backdrop of the entire same-sex marriage movement. 2004 Massachusetts, 2008 in Connecticut, 2009 Iowa, Vermont, New Hampshire, get a bit less straight, 2008 California, great, but then we wait because of Prop 8, 2010 DC, 2011 New York State! Actually a really universal story, uh, despite lesbian, Jewish, Wiccan, it's, it's really just a story about people falling in love, it's about having divorced parents, it's about uh, your mom or your dad meeting somebody new and getting married. It's about families growing in ways that are, are new in the 21st century. I'm, uh, I'm giving away the ending, but there's a wedding. Uh, my mom's wedding was one of the most beautiful weddings that I'd ever been to. Uh, from the Jewish tradition, they stood under a chuppah and they smashed a glass. And then from the Wiccan tradition, uh, they bound their hands, they mingled their blood, and they jumped over a broom. things was when we started at the fringe and uh, we could not believe the response from from people we were just telling our family story and we would have uh, young lesbian couples come up to us in tears afterwards and say thank you for telling a positive coming out story 
and we had one woman uh, who came up to us after the show, and uh, and she was waiting for us. She wouldn't leave, and she said, "I'm 70 years old, and I'm Jewish, and my granddaughter is about to marry another woman, and I wasn't okay with it, and now I am." Here's to leaving your past behind. Here's to finding a brand new you. Here's to finally learning something that you never knew. When you're 50, the economy won't recover. And you're fighting for gay marriage and medical marijuana. And you think, why care? Really, why even bother? Well, crazier things have happened, I mean. Part four.